Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us today for the Illinois Association for College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. We are so excited to have you joining us today and participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools lined up to speak with you today. My name is Daisha, and I am going to be your facilitator. Before we get started, I have a few housekeeping items for you all. Um, so first, your camera and your microphone are off, so the panelists will not be able to see or hear you today, but you can interact with them using the Q&A button at the bottom of your screen. So once you click that, once you click that, you'll be able to um, ask a question to today's panelists and they can answer your question directly or answer it live. Um, today, this is one of just uh, one of many session sessions happening. Um, so you'll be able to check out other institutions during the other time blocks. So I encourage you to visit the website again to take a look at who's attending the other sessions to decide which one you'd like to log on for. Um, the session today is being recorded. So you will be able to visit strivescan.com slash Illinois to view the recording of all of today's sessions. So now I will turn it over to our first school, Lakeview College of Nursing. Hi everyone, I'm Nigel Givens. I'm the admissions recruiter here at Lakeview College of Nursing. In one second and I will share my screen. So Lakeview College of Nursing is a standalone nursing program. So our students are actually transferring in for the second part of their bachelor's degree for their junior and senior year, and they complete it with their bachelor's of science in nursing and their RN license. Um, for 2020, our first time pass rate for NCLEX takers, which is the uh, state boards, was a 95%. And because we have two campuses, typically we don't have to waitlist students. 100% of our qualified applicants were admitted into our program. Um, we have two campuses, like I mentioned, one in Danville, Illinois. That's about two and a half hours from Chicago, about an hour and a half from Indianapolis. And our other campus, this is in Charleston, Illinois, which is about two hours from Indianapolis and about two hours from St. Louis. So we are centrally or east centrally located in Illinois. Both of our campus offer really great amenities, impressive nursing skills lab with really cool high tech simulators, computer labs, comfortable conference areas, and we are in person. Anything that can be done in real life in our clinical settings, we can actually mimic it in our skills lab with our simulator. So we have a full on birthing simulator simulator, adult simulators, pediatric ones. It's really great for our students to practice with. About 89% of our students did receive financial aid, and we do offer transfer scholarships, one merit-based and one need-based, and both of those are worth $20,000. And we also offer Phi Theta Kappa scholarship, as well as numerous other scholarships once students have been admitted into the program. We just ask that our students um, complete their FAFSA. Um, finance for financial aid and cost, um, it's about $35,295 um, over four semesters. So our program is traditionally two years, but we do have an accelerated track, which students have to uh, meet a certain GPA um, while they're in our program and get the approval of our, their faculty advisors. Like I mentioned, all of our students are transferring in after they complete their freshman and sophomore year. So they complete their first 60 credit hours of prereqs and general education courses and have a 2.5 GPA or higher. And then they also complete the HESI entrance exam. So I'm not looking at your ACTs or SAT scores. I'm strictly looking at the work that you do while you're in college. If you're taking any dual enrollment classes or any AP courses, those credits will also transfer in as well. If anyone is interested in applying, we um, do accept admissions in spring and in the fall. So right now we have extended our deadline and students are actually applying for the spring of 2022 semester. So students actually apply the semester before they plan to attend. 
This is just a quick example of the courses that you have to take. So our students, before they come in, are taking English Composition 1 and 2, Speech, Anatomy and Physiology, Chemistry 1 and 2, Microbiology, just to name a few of those courses. It's my job to really work with you, your freshman and uh, sophomore year in college, so that when you do apply, you're a strong candidate. Nursing schools across the board is very competitive. So we want to make sure that our prospective students are really um, up to date on what they need, um, have the correct courses, and are going to be great um, when applying. We do offer in-person tours. If you're ever close to the Danville or Charleston campus area, feel free to reach out. We can give you a tour. You can also schedule a virtual meeting or view the campus with our virtual video. My name again is Nigel Givens. You can email me at admissions at lakeviewcol.edu. And if you have any questions, definitely feel free to reach out and I will put my contact information in the chat. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Lakeview College of Nursing. Our next college is the Graham Hospital School of Nursing. Hello, everyone. My name is Pam Ritter with Graham Hospital School of Nursing in Canton, Illinois. Let me share my screen here. Okay. I'd like to tell you a little bit more about our hospital. We are starting our 112th year of excellence in nursing education and very proud of our heritage. We are located in Canton, Illinois, which is about 45 minutes southwest of Peoria, about an hour east of Macomb, and about an hour and a half north of Springfield. One of the things that makes us unique is that we are the only three-year hospital-based program in Illinois. And a couple of years ago, we were ranked number three in the state and very proud of that as well. But I want to talk a little bit more about what makes us unique. First of all, the benefits of a three-year program. Compared with an associate's program, you have an additional year of clinical experience. Um, actually, you will get 3,400 hours of experience in your first year alone with us right on the floor. There are also fewer gen ed courses because all of your classes are related to nursing and in support of nursing as a profession. So you aren't taking some of the humanities, the fine arts and so forth that you might in a degree program. Compared with a four year bachelor's program, you have the opportunity to leave school a full year ahead of students who are in four-year programs. You graduate with a diploma in nursing and you begin to work as a nurse immediately. Again, because we are a diploma school rather than a degree-granting school, you have fewer gen ed courses to complete. However, no matter where you end up as a nurse, as a nursing student, find the best fit for you. Some prefer an ADN program, some a BSN program, and like those two, our three-year diploma program will lead to an entry-level position in patient care. So what are the benefits of being located in a hospital? Well, <clears throat> First of all, there's the emphasis on patient bedside care. Every time you walk in the door of Graham Hospital on your way up to the third and fourth floor, you will interact with other healthcare professionals, members of the community, and patients and visitors there in the hospital. You will gain experience with current research and best practice and you have an opportunity for immediate employment at the end of your three-year program. 
Best of all, I think you have clinical experience in every single unit of not only Graham Hospital, but Graham Health System as well. So when you are on the floor in clinicals, you are literally right downstairs. You'll spend some time in med surge, in the emergency department, in the pharmacy, in the lab, on the extended care unit. You will spend time in occupational and physical therapy and in cardiopulmonary rehab units. You'll have a chance to spend some time working with patients directly in our convenient care and one of several regional healthcare facilities that we have throughout Fulton and Peoria County. So as I mentioned, you have a lot of experience in every single department in the hospital and in our health system. And by the time you are finished with your three years at Graham, you will have a great opportunity to know where you would like to take your nursing career in the future. You're able to recognize and respond quickly to changes in the healthcare delivery system because our curriculum is continually being revised and reviewed in order to keep up with all of those changes. Graham Hospital School of Nursing, I think, is the best of both worlds. Again, you can complete your RN in three years, graduate, and begin working as a nurse. We are also very proud of our relationship with ISU's Mennonite College of Nursing, which accepts 100% of Graham credits, allowing you to complete your bachelor's degree in just one more year. So if you had started in a four-year BSN program, you would be completing your bachelor's at the same time as Graham graduates who go on to go to ISU. If you'd like more information or would like to schedule a visit, we would certainly love to have you come visit our school located in Canton. And I thank you all very much for attending this morning, for taking a look at so many school opportunities, and wish you the very best of luck in your college search. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Graham Hospital School of Nursing. Our next institution presenting is Spalding University. Hello, my name is Jessica and I am our admissions counselor for Illinois, of our students coming from Illinois. Let me share my screen. And I will warn you, we are in the middle of a thunderstorm. So if you hear some thunder, that is what's going on. So to start, as I mentioned, Spalding is located in downtown Louisville, Kentucky. We have a 10 to one student to teacher ratio. Now, I think sometimes a better question to ask is what's the largest class size that you're gonna be in? So at Spalding, the largest class size that any of our students have is gonna be 35 students. So probably pretty similar to what you're in in high school right now, really getting that one-on-one -on -one experience with your professors. We're also ranked one of the top five schools in the state, which is something we're just really proud of. I think it's personally because of our six week block schedule that allows students to be more flexible with planning their schedule and being able to do everything they want to in college. Additionally, we have over 25 different clubs and organizations that students can be a part of outside of just their classroom work. So to start, we are NCAA Division III, so all of our student athletes coming on campus get that opportunity to continue to play sports in college. And on the top of the screen, I have pictured our brand new soccer, softball, and lacrosse fields, which are in the heart of downtown with us just a couple of blocks from campus. Now, I mentioned earlier that we have our block schedule, and this is how it is broken down for students. So each student actually only takes two classes at a time. You take them for six weeks and then you will take your finals, get a whole week off of school, then you come back and do it all over again. So you will still get five classes a semester, just like you would at any of the other universities that are here presenting today. You just get to break it down so you only have two classes at a time and you're never having five finals at the end of the semester. It's always ever, only ever those two classes that you've been working on. Now for our 
who is in, we are 13 to a semester, and that's for any full-time student. For room and board living on campus, it is 23.50 a semester as well. And then we also have our merit scholarship, which is um, reduces tuition a lot for students. I'd say about 95% of our students are getting some sort of financial aid scholarship. So to start our automatic admission requirements are a 2.5 GPA and a 20 ACT, or you can apply as test optional with a 3.0 GPA. Now for scholarship, students automatically get whatever um, the base award is that is equivalent to their GPA. And then on top of that, we will take their ACT score, multiply it by 100, and give that as an additional bonus award scholarship on top of their a base award. Now, every student pretty much receives financial aid of some sort, and then the financial aid office offices helps them understand the FAFSA, gets them through that whole process and make sure they are ready and understand everything that they need. For some of our big majors and programs, we're a small liberal arts school, so we have a little bit of everything. We have our business program that focuses in on concentrations in sports management, marketing, human resources. We have our education, which does all elementary, middle, and high school. A big, some of our big programs are our occupational therapy program, getting students their doctorate in OT and ready to get out in the hospitals and practice, as well as nursing, our psychology for getting um, students who want to, are interested in being counselors, getting them everything that they need to get on to their master's programs, and then obviously studio arts and social work. So a wide variety of things. Students often come in with no idea what they want to do and end up figuring it out along the way, just through different courses that they're required to take in their general education. And then finally, a little bit about Louisville. Um, Louisville is a great small town, big city kind of energy. We are ranked one of the best cities for new job seekers, which is an awesome place to get started in your career once you graduate college. We're also ranked one of the top 10 food cities in this um, food cities, which is something I personally am very proud of and love that about the city. It's also a great place for students to come get to be a part of the community and really get to expand their knowledge of a new place outside of um, just Illinois. And then uh, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, like I said, my name is Jessica and I work with all of our uh, Illinois based students. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Spalding University. Our next institution is the University of Louisville. All right, welcome. Good afternoon. My name is Scott Smolik. I am one of two Chicago Regional Admission Counselors. Um, so I handle pretty much every county in the state of Illinois, except for Cook, McHenry, and Lake. But all those other counties fall to me. Dave Anzac handles uh, those three counties, Cook, Lake, and McHenry. So to get started, a little bit about the university. We are a mid-sized university. We have just over 11,000 undergraduate students and then just over 23,000 total enrollment with our graduate schools and professional studies. We have a 13 to one student to teacher ratio, average class size about 25 students. Um, typically our most popular majors fall within our flagship programs between business, nursing, and engineering but criminal justice, education, sports administration, psychology tend to round out that top five, top six most popular majors there. You can see we are a tier one research university and we're only one of 69 universities in the entire country to uh, achieve that distinction, that Carnegie tier one uh, research university and community engagement. So what that means is our professors, our faculty, uh, our students are conducting research, they're taking those findings and they're putting them back into use within the community to help make them better. We have over 200 programs to choose from. Like I mentioned, um, business, engineering and nursing are our flagship programs. The majority of our programs have some sort of internship or co-op built into their major. Our engineering students are conducting three co-ops over their four years. And on average, they're making about $40,000 while only paying for one credit during those semesters. This is just a few of the companies and organizations that our students go to work for. So one of our engineering students most recently had a co-op with NASA. You can see Yum, uh, Yum Brands are located in Louisville. Um, so they do a great uh, job with us. But again, UPS, Adidas, Procter & Gamble, Brown Foreman, um, a lot of professional sports teams as well. 
So great opportunities for our students to get those internships, get those jobs, um, get that real world experience prior to graduation. So you just heard a little bit about the city of Louisville. So I'll just add on um, the restaurants are fantastic. Great food town. Um, me being from the Chicagoland area, I think the students in this area adjust well because of how much the city of Louisville has to offer. Uh, you're going to see a lot that you see up here in the Chicagoland area throughout Illinois with great restaurants, great museums, great parks, uh, you name it. Muhammad Ali Museum and Louisville Slugger are two of my favorites. Churchill Downs is right in our backyard. Um, so if you like the ponies, you can uh, go see them up until about the fall and then they start up again in the spring. Fourth Street Live is awesome. Great music, great restaurants, uh, just a great city to be right on the right on the Ohio River. So applying to the university, our application is open. It's been open since August 1st. So any juniors on here, it'll open August 1st next year. We're still test optional for the spring, summer, and fall of 2022. So what that means is you can apply as soon as you submit your transcripts, we're gonna review your application. Uh, if you do have ACT or SAT scores and you submit those as well, and you meet the requirements to be admitted to the University of Louisville, uh, for your specific major, or if you're undecided to the university, we'll go ahead and admit you. But either way, we're going to review that application as soon as we have that official transcript on file. Um, the College of Nursing is the only school that is still requiring uh, that ACT or SAT score. If you don't have either of those, you can take an Accuplacer exam, math and reading, and use those scores towards admission to the School of Nursing. There is a $25 application fee that's non-refundable. Um, and then our priority deadline is February 15th. We do have some great scholarships for students all over the state of Illinois with our regional award. So just for being admitted, you're going to receive that $10,000 award. And then depending on your academic profile, it can go up from there. So you see the requirements on the screen with, um, with what you need with the ACT um, and the GPA. And then it's just the equivalent with the SAT as well. So we will accept that. But we will also offer enhancements to students that do not have test scores. Like I said, we'll review your transcript. We're going to look at your course rigor. We're going to see what your grade trend is. You're taking honors, AP, IB courses. And then we're going to evaluate that and, and award you to, towards that, that review. Whatever helps the student best, whether it's the ACT, SAT, GPA combination, or the review of that transcript, whichever is going to benefit that student more, is what we're going to offer you. Um, Out-of-state financial aid package on average is about sixteen dollars to $18,000 each year for our students. And that is all I have for you. I will drop my contact information into the chat as well. All right. Thank you, University of Louisville. Our next institution is the University of Mississippi. Hey y'all, greetings from Oxford, Mississippi. My name is Megan Thomas. I serve as the Assistant Director of Admissions with the University of Mississippi, affectionately known as Ole Miss. And I'm joined today by Lucy Cease, who is our new admissions counselor serving Missouri, Illinois and the surrounding areas. We are here representing the University of Mississippi, as I mentioned. We are the third smallest school in the Southeastern Conference, home to around 22,000 total students and around 17,000 undergraduate students, hailing from all 50 states and 90 different countries. I am coming to you live today from the Grove, which is the 10 acre area, almost smack dab in the middle of our campus. And the only place in the country where 60,000 of your closest friends are gonna be so excited about the sight of red and blue trash cans, because that signifies that game day is among us and we are ready to cheer on the Ole Miss Rebels to the victory. We are located in Oxford, Mississippi, which is about one hour southeast of Memphis, Tennessee. Um, Oxford is truly the definition of the quintessential small southern town, most recently named by ESPN as the best college town in America. Oxford is home to nearly 20,000 residents, so when school is in session, it nearly doubles in size with all of our students, bringing just the most electric atmosphere to our quaint little southern town. A few facts about the University of Mississippi, just to 
allow you to familiarize yourself more with our campus. Um, we are ranked in the top 100 public universities nationally. And again, the University of Mississippi is consistently ranked one of the most beautiful college campuses in, in America. We do have Mississippi's highest graduation and retention rates, recently setting a university record with an 86.8% freshman to sophomore retention rate, simply meaning our students come to Ole Miss and they love it so much they stay to graduate. In terms of academics with Ole Miss, we do offer over 90 different majors and 120 programs of study. We do offer nationally ranked programs in pharmacy, accounting, and the largest integrated marketing communications major within our School of Journalism and New Media. Additionally, we also offer nationally ranked programs in business, education, and the oldest engineering school in the state of Mississippi, which is home to Mississippi's number one electrical engineering program. We also have several special programs that students are interested in. Those include the Sally McDonald Barksdale Honors College, the Croft Institute for International Studies, which essentially lets you create your very own international studies degree tailored to your specific interests, and federally funded Chinese and Arabic flagship programs. We have Ole Miss alums working all across the country, including the, the big four accounting firms, including KPMG. Um, we also have students working at SpaceX, TikTok, ESPN, The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, and Hello Sunshine, which is Reese Witherspoon's media company. Also, looking a little bit more closely at academics, our average class size is around 34 students. And less than 5% of our classes on campus have 100 or more students in them. Some classes on campus are as small as 8 to 10 students, which really allow you to have that personalized academic experience where your professor will know you on a first name basis, but you're also going to have the opportunity to get to know your peers in your classes. Ole Miss is the perfect size where you will always walk across campus and it never fails that you will see at least one familiar space, whether you knew them prior to Ole Miss or you became friends once joining the Ole Miss family. In terms of applying um, and the next steps in the admissions process, students can apply via our institutional application or the Common App. We admit on a rolling admissions basis, but the sooner students apply, the better. Um, we have instituted a test optional admissions policy for fall 2022. However, we do strongly recommend that students submit their test scores as the vast majority of our scholarships do require them. In terms of financial aid and scholarships, there are three facets. Our academic merit scholarships begin for our non-resident students with a 25 on the ACT or a 1200 SAT with a 3.0 GPA. We do accept super scores for all of our scholarships, so please keep that in mind. We also offer a competitive scholarship application, which is called the Special Programs and Scholarships application. That has a priority deadline of January the 5th. And we also strongly encourage students to submit the FAFSA, which is the free application for federal student aid. The total cost of attendance for non-resident students averages around 40,000 yearly, but as the screen shows, 80% of our freshmen or students receive some type of financial aid, and Ole Miss ranks in the top 50 public universities as a best value school. So please be sure that you apply for those scholarships and submit your FAFSA so we can be sure to maximize your financial aid package to the best of our abilities. We would love to have you come and visit us in Oxford. Many people have said that if you don't want to fall in love with Ole Miss, do not come and visit campus. And I can definitely vouch for that. It is a special, special place that just gets in your blood and it does not leave. Um, we do not win many sports national championships as our colleagues in the SEC claim, but we definitely claim ours in a different way and that is campus beauty. We do offer in-person and virtual campus visits each weekday and in-person visits one Saturday a month. 
So please come and take us up on that offer um, to see what the most beautiful college campus in America looks like and how your next four years as an Ole Miss Rebel would look for you. My contact information is on the screen, so please reach out if you have any questions, and I will also put that in the chat for you as well. Hottie toddy, y'all. Thank you, Ole Miss. All right, everyone, that is our last institution for today. I would like to invite all of our panelists to uh, turn on their video and um, unmute themselves, and we'll have a quick Q&A for you all. Um, our first question I'd like to ask you all is, what is one thing that you would like students to remember about your school? I would say uh, one thing to remember about Lakeview is that all we do is nursing. If you have any questions about the career, about the degree, about the license, definitely feel free to reach out to us. Um, there's so many different paths to becoming a nurse and so much that you can do with it. So again, Lakeview, all we do is nursing. That's where our students come and focus on getting that degree and license. I would say that I would like for students to remember our schedule, how we only have students taking two classes at a time and never more than that. So all every class that you're in, you really get a focus on, you really get a hone in on, make sure you get the best grades you possibly can before moving on to the next ones. Go ahead, go ahead and say that our students are graduating with the least amount of debt in the state of Kentucky. And I think that goes back to our generous scholarships, not only for our in-state our in-state students, but also uh, specifically our Illinois, Illinois students with our Illinois Regional Award. At the University of Mississippi, you are truly going to experience the best of both worlds, being at an SEC institution, but having those small classroom sizes where you're actually able to get to know the people in your classes, but also your professors. You, No matter who you are, where you're from, you are truly going to make your home away from home in Oxford. Awesome. And do we have the Graham Hospital School of Nursing? Yes. I'd like everyone to remember that we are the only three-year hospital-based diploma program in the state of Illinois, and we'd love for you to come visit. Awesome. All right, we have another question. What is one myth you would like to debunk about the college admissions process? I would say one myth is that admissions recruiters don't wanna answer your questions or your questions um, might not be the best. We hear everything. We really wanna know what you guys are thinking. So I think I can probably speak with everyone saying no question is too much or too little. Feel free to reach out to us. Um, I really love working with students. It's my job to make sure that you guys are strong candidates when you apply to my program. So just feel free to reach out for anything. I think oh, well, sorry. I was just going to say um, you don't have to know what you're going to do when you graduate. Um, and it's not always uh, the major you choose is the career field you're going to go into. So don't don't feel pressure that you need to know what you're going to do four years from now. Come in with an open mind uh, and, and try new classes, try new things out and you'll you'll find your way. I was going to say that. Um... It's, I kind of want to debunk that it's a scary process. Um, I feel like it's really intimidating going into the college mission process, knowing what you want to do, feeling like you have to make your entire life decision in about a year period. And that's not the case. And that's what everyone at the university is all around are there to help you figure that all out as you go through. I also want to add a lot of students are intimidated about uh, ACT and SAT scores and are nervous about applying because they're not sat currently satisfied with their current score and want to postpone the application process. And I always try to tell students, please just go ahead and apply for admission with your current scores because and check with the schools that you're interested in because most oftentimes you can continue to submit those for a portion of time throughout your senior year as your score increases. 
And I'd like to echo Jessica in talking about um, that admissions isn't really a scary process. All of us, you can tell, are, are friendly people. We love the schools that we work for, but we also want the best students who are going to be the happiest in the niche that they have chosen. So I would, I would encourage everyone to visit as many schools as possible and find the best place for you. Awesome. All right, and we have one more question. Um, again, uh, last chance if anyone has any questions they'd like to ask, use the Q&A function and submit your questions now. Uh, but I have one more question for our panelists. Uh, what advice would you give to someone who is going through the college admissions process? I would say ask as many questions as you can, whether it's about the admissions process, whether it's about financial aid and scholarships. Um, a lot of times there's money out there that we just need someone to apply for that scholarship for. So ask questions. Um, if you're unsure of anything, reach out to a department, reach out to your major, reach out to the admissions counselor, reach out to financial aid. So just um, be open, feel free to communicate. And I think that will really help you. I was gonna say that I think getting on as many campuses as you can, like going on visits to as many places as possible, seeing exactly what you like as a campus environment really will help you make the decision of where you wanna be for the next four years. I would say stay organized, check your email and do not be afraid to tell us no. Like at times you're gonna realize that that school is not what you're interested in anymore and that's okay we're not going to be mad at you we're not going to yell at you but we are going to continue to chase you until you let us know that you're not interested anymore retweet retweet university of louisville um but just to echo some of the comments that were made earlier get to know your admissions counselor and lean on your admissions counselor they are there to help you throughout this entire process so don't ever think that any questions may seem silly or dumb because we have heard it all and we want to help you and be there for you through the process I would add that during the admission interview process to come prepared with questions and tell us about yourself. We get a lot of good information from your application and the lists of your honors and your transcripts from high school, but we really want a sense of your personality. So do come to those interviews prepared and again, have a lot of questions. Awesome. Well, thank you all for joining us today. I am going to share my screen one more time. Uh, so thank you all for joining. If um, you close your window, there's going to be a link for a very quick five question survey about today's session and we'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. We encourage you to check out the schedule and um, sign up for other sessions later today. Um, you'll also be able to find the recording of today's session as well as those for the other sessions at strivescan.com slash Illinois. Um, so thank you all and I hope you have a wonderful afternoon.